So, yesterday I did the video um, titled 1127. And as I'm watching this video in the car, instantly I see like, I see a woman. Now I can't really see her face at all. I can see the back of her head. But as I see like the back of her head, I hear MC light playing, but I hear light as a rock, right? I hear light as a rock. So I know it's not MC light, clearly. I'm just sitting here. I'm just trying to figure out who is this woman? Who is she? You know, I'm a 90s baby. I have no fucking clue who she is. Never even heard of her. It's Miss Melody. So I had to type in, because I know who I see. I know who I see, but I don't know her name. So I had to type in MC Light or whatever the case may be. And I just had to keep on looking. And But I, I talked about, like, um, I typed in female rappers that uh, passed away. And Miss Melly popped up and I seen her um, along with MC Light name. So I instantly knew because I think MC Light gave her a big ups. Uh, Miss Melanie was married to KRS One. She was a big deal back in the 80s. But um, it's so funny because as I was watching yesterday's video, I was talking about Jay Z. And I recognized this part in this video. It's like when I seen her in the video. So it's not like I, like I seen her in the video. Like I can see the woman in the video, but I, I don't know the name. I can see the silhouette around me. Like, and it was during Jay Z part. So it was like around things. It was like around, like I'm just hearing myself talk and it's something that I said that I was like, who is that right there near me? Who is that woman right there near me? So I seen her and it was, and she had her hair, like how MC Light have it in, light as a rock. Now the thing about it is I was talking about Jay-Z, but when I heard it too, I kept hearing, I'm not a writer, I'm a biter. Now remember in 2006, Cameron had this um, Jay-Z. And that's all I hear is, I'm not a writer, I'm a biter. Now, I had I had to do a little bit of research. Basically, it shows me, like, that Jay-Z is, like, it's not even, like, no disrespect to Jay-Z. It's, like, Jay-Z is, like, you know what I mean? It's, like, niggas is, just get carried away type shit, you know? It's, like, Jay-Z got carried away. It's, like, when you ever going to give your proper big ups and shit like that, you know what I mean? It's, like, when are you going to... It's like you are, you're a son. It's like, but it's like you put people, you have put people in a position to kind of, to talk crazy to you in a sense, because even if you're not dissing niggas, it's like some lack of loyalty or something just seems like kind of disrespectful. I couldn't understand why I was seeing fucking MC Light, like why I was hearing MC Light. It's like... Justice is here as well. Queen of Pentacles as well. I'm also thinking about as well. I was thinking about Lizzo for some reason. But for, for whatever reason, when I had seen Miss Melanie behind me or whatever, like, it's so crazy because, you know, there's no disrespect to this. But I was actually telling her this as well. It's like, it's like, why can't I find a photo of you slimmer? And it's no disrespect. It was like... It was like somebody confident in their skin. You know, there's like, you know, a, a gaining of weight, perhaps. Well, definitely a gaining of weight over time. And people not being critical of it. Like, you got KRS-One, like, holding your hand through and supporting you because that shit don't matter. Like, you're a rapper, you're a hip-hop artist, so that don't matter. But it also is this sense of um, not being ridiculed, but it's just, like, um, not getting your not getting your proper... It's like, it's time to give me mine. It's like, it's like, cause it's like, I picture like Monique rapping. You feel me? It's like, I can't even, you know, somebody mad confident. It's like, you try to break me, but it's like, I'm still nice at the end of the day. And it's a, it, you know, that light as a rock. Like that's MC light. But why is that shit really in my head? Like, what is that? Cause why do it just feel like it's just time to give me mine? Like, it's like, y'all never really want to give the proper big ups. It's just so crazy because it's like KRS-One and Jay-Z have, I, I couldn't even really dig into it. Because this is that 80s shit that I'm just like, I'm totally, 
I don't know how I feel about that he shit. Apparently, this shit is no no secret. Like, you know, the, the, the cats from the 80s, the cats from the 80s, like, know what's up. Like, this is no secret that, I don't know, that Miss Melanie and MC Light and KRS-One, they all were together. And I don't know, in some sort of way, Jay-Z is around this crowd. But it's like, you become kind of like Hollywood, but it's not even like, you're not even Hollywood. Like, you just, you like mad cocky. It's like... You think you're the Mike Tyson of the crew. So basically, like, you think every hit that you have or anything that you say, any verse that you give is a knockout. But I'm hearing, like, you're not a writer, you're a biter. It's like that line, that line is hilarious. Like, why does it feel like that line is hilarious? Like, you know what I mean? It was a joke. It's like you've been getting ether for, for mad long. Nas just happened to be somebody else. Happen to be outside of Brooklyn, but you've been getting ether for mad long. Like, stop wanting to kick it. Stop wanting to, you know what I mean? It's like, I instantly thought of Dirk, right? It's so crazy because I'm just like, I'm like, man, I just think it's so crazy. Queen of Swords is here. It's like that mouth is crazy. <laughs> no, like for real. It's like that mouth is crazy. She got a smart mouth here. But it's just like, you've been a son for mad long. It's like, it's like, it's really time to give me mine. But I can't think. Now, you know what's so crazy? Let me be honest. Let me just be honest. Let me be honest. Because Miss Melody had an album like her first i think they said her studio loan album i don't know if it's like her first album but they said that it was titled diva literally the only thing i thought of a diva is a female version of a hustler like if you look at miss melanie she looked like got damn um Big Daddy Kane on the low. Like her, like, you know, she was around like Queen Latifah, Run DMC, um, MC Light. I think somebody named Malcolm, Malcolm Eds. Mind you, these are all people that I've never heard. I've only heard uh, MC Light song, Light as a Rock, before in my life. But it's like, I have no reason to be listening to these songs. I didn't even go back, but I heard... Um, a little bit of Miss Melanie uh, music. I think it's live live on stage or something like that. She got um, a song and a video to that. And I was looking at the fact that the women basically just had on regular leotards and they had signs on them. And the signs, uh, the signs pretty much, like the women weren't doing nothing but like walking around. It was like white and black women. They were just walking around in this video. And, um, they were wearing signs and they like they was wearing all black and these leotards. It's like very, you know, um, synchronized type of ordeal. And it's like the, the sign that they had said video hole on it. So I just realized that she is she's like a fight the power, but it's like maybe fight the critic the critics, uh fight the status quo. Like it's just feeling like hello. It feel like, you know. It's like, it's time to give me my, at the end of the day, I'm nice, but it's like, why do it feel like y'all try to make it a competition on the low between MC Light and, um, but I'm flowing between MC Light and Miss Melody. And it's like, given Miss Melody, it's like you recognize her as a dope MC, but truly don't want to give her. You know what I mean? And it's off the strength that y'all have a certain type of image. Like, now we starting to flow in this era where image, but it's like, no, think about Jay-Z. You got this, you got this little, you got this joint. It right do it feel like Beyonce saw on Diva. It's like, I hear what you're talking about on Diva. I hear what you're talking about on Diva. But why do it feel like you're inspired? Like, why do it feel like you are inspired by... Diva. Why do I feel like you're inspired? It just feels like Jay-Z is not a writer. He's a biter, bro. And I don't know why I want to say that. I am feeling like... 
it's like you were around these people. You know what I mean? It's like KR KRS one. Like it's like together. They didn't sat back. Like they a power couple. Like when you think of them, you think of like a Remy and Papoose type situation. Like it's like they both power writers. It's like we didn't tailor your whole flow type shit. You used to sound like other niggas type shit. We didn't, you sounded like everybody around you. We didn't tailor your whole flow, never criticized you. Then you start, you master that flow. And it's like, but listen, we taught you down there. It's like, you don't even got to sit back in. Um, you, you, you don't got to be on our songs or it's like, you know what I mean? It's like, we here before you. It's like, you come, I don't know what this is that I'm feeling. It's like you the little nigga of the group kind of. We, ta we, we, we tailored your flow. So you already had skills, but we tailored your flow. Like we really showed you, like that's why I said yesterday, like you're a hip hop artist. Like, and you're trying to be a rapper. It's like, but you been getting ether for mad long. Like niggas had been park your shit for mad long. It's like you basically step, you got bigger than this group or bigger than this. I don't know. Flow with me. The Queen of Wands is here. Cause Diva is Diva on the same album as Kitty Cat. Cause why do it feel like? High Priest is here. Why do it feel like, uh, Jay-Z is not a writer, he's a biter. Why do it feel like on the low? On the low. Like, I got something here. I got something that is just like, this corny ass nigga, again, it's like I'm not, it's like, and then it feel like this melody is kind of like regular people's type shit. You know what I mean? So it's like, She's not getting that recognition. Like, you're Miss Melody that was married to KRS One, but it's like, you are not getting the recognition that you actually deserve. Like, it's like, niggas is not, niggas don't even recognize who you are. Niggas don't know who you are. And it's like, impossible. It's like, it's fucking impossible. That's what really, it's, it's like, it's like impossible. But it's like, that doesn't have anything to do with Jay Z. It's like, that's how it was, that's how it was designed. But it's like, um, It's like taking somebody that's not getting a lot of recognition and then letting somebody basically, you know how Beyonce go into her little, her little moments where she want to be like a little, she like fake rapping, but she's singing at the same time. Why do it feel like you, you have, you are inspired by Miss Melody in some sort of capacity? And it's like Miss Melody is like, why does that feel like that? The justice card is here as well. Like it do that. It's the justice card is here actually twice. It's like Beyonce is is actually aware, and it's like Jay Z is actually aware. It's like why do it feel like you know, you know what I just thought of? What is that lady name that be speaking on? Damn, what is the lady that be speaking on Beyonce and Jay Z all the time? What is her name? That used to be the, like the songwriter or singer, or whatever. I keep, can't think of her name, but it's like, I feel like she can attest. I feel like she knowingly has some sort of, she know about things that ha could have transpired like around this time. Or she spoke on, I need to go back to her videos. Cause I believe she could have spoke on Jay-Z and Beyonce. Like, Like the KRS, the KRS one, like frenzy with Jay Z, like that whole thing. And it's like, is it really a frenzy? It's like, well, he's denying him access. It's like Jay Z is trying to enter spaces that KRS one is in. You know what I mean? Where people are like, it's like the younger generation is scraggling to be around Hove, but it's like now it feels like the younger generation is finally waking up because it's like the truth always. Uh, prevails like you have no actual idea like you're not a writer you're a biter like your whole style is copy and it feels like don't get me wrong like you know it feels like jay is a you know he was a solid dude it's not like you know 
it's like no disrespect and shit like that. But I do feel like at the end of the day, it's like how people feel about you. It's like they're not feeling this way for no absolute reason. But it's like, why am I still seeing Miss Melanie here? Why was I seeing MC? Like, why couldn't I get MC light on my head? Because all I kept hearing was light as a rock. And it's like, I know for, I was feeling like I had a message to MC light. Because it's like, I know for a fact, I don't know. Why do I feel like people just kind of became distant, like distanced themselves from Miss Melanie? And then she really became like a has-been. Like, you know, it's like, hang it the fuck up. Uh, hang it the fuck up, Ramona. It's like, they're not even calling you Miss Melanie anymore. It's like, they're not calling you Mel. They're not calling you MC. They're not calling you dope nice. They're not calling you shit. They're like, they like tired of you and you're complaining or you're nagging. And it's like, it's like, you're not even complaining or nagging. Now you, it's like, anytime you say something, your tone or something is so, uh, so actually harsh like you're so harsh and blunt with how you feel about niggas like or how you feel about a certain sound or whatever the case may be like you know and maybe you just so quick to say that a, like niggas is copying styles and niggas is not real whatever it's like when niggas start feeling like well you know this motherfucker never congratulating she always player hating type shit it's like i'm not a player hating like this shit is real i've been in this shit since you know what I mean? I'm talking about when people was really writing. It's like she feel like that type shit. But why I was like, you know what's so crazy? Like I said, I was like, Vaughn, let me sit on my screen. It's like Vaughn actually. Now, this is the whole thing. Because I was trying to figure out like Miss Melanie. Like who is Miss Melanie? And he like, he in fast, he fascinated because he like, I didn't even know who this, who this lady is. But it's just like learning like different things because it's just like people are just looking it's like you know jay-z is it's like look at this nigga like you know it's like look at that that's a nice car a nice depiction like it's just seeing it's just like be watching over she passed away in 2012 it made me feel like she's watching over it's like it's like kind of funny but it's like like really give me mine it's like maybe truth will be soon revealed or maybe i'm the person that's revealing the truth like i don't know because i know for a fact that i feel like jay-z somebody's taking the fucking rock you feel me and it's like so funny because it's like you didn't you stepped outside of brooklyn you stepped outside of where people like where people really know you at it's like you know, uh, Miss Melanie Harris, they all are from Brooklyn. So it's like, you step outside of Brooklyn, it's like, you thinking, like, you know what I mean? It's like, out of sight, out of mind. But it's like, nah, that shit gonna catch up with you everywhere. Like, it's like, not even saying that you're not valid. It's like you... The stars here. It's like you, you a little... I don't know what that is. I don't know what the... It's not even no problem. It's just funny. It been funny. I guess. I don't know. I don't know what, what word I'm looking for. Like, I don't know why I'm here. Like, but why am I even talking about Jay-Z? Why am I talking about Jay-Z? The devil sits the swords is here. It, uh, it, it's still bringing me back to Beyonce. And every time I'm thinking about this, it's making me think of two comic debts. It's just like, you know, Beyonce album was very, very hard. You know, uh, you know, all I'm thinking of Cozy. Uh, is it Cozy? No, it's not Cozy. It's, um, I'm thinking of Heated. Heated. Uh, I got to, nah, 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 Heated. But it's like, I don't know. It's like, did that album really, you know... I'm pretty sure, like, the music, it's just saying, like, nah. It's not saying nah. I'm saying, I see believe in yourself, right? I see that right here. Believe, like, with an actual bumblebee. And all it made me think of is, like, Beyonce, fit. she got a hell of a fan base. Made me feel like, in true reality, is Jay-Z and Beyonce, are they just not exciting anymore? It's like, because, it's like what are you going to do now? But it's like, well, we know Beyonce don't write her music. Like, okay. It's like, well, Jay-Z don't write his music neither, but Jay-Z is a biter. It's like, well, he's no longer biting now, maybe, but this nigga is sitting at the top of the, so we say, sitting at the top of the peak by snatching little hot lines out of songs, like Miss Melody's song, on YouTube. She don't even got a YouTube page, as you can imagine. She has no YouTube page. 
that any video that's on her fucking that any video she got it's like 3,000 views on it no cap it's like 3,000 views on it so it's like miss melanie it's like people want to deem miss melanie a fucking nobody how is it possible she's married to or was married to the legendary krl swan it's like well you're only as good as your last number type shit but it's like nah it's like i never fucking left hold on It's like I never fucking left. It's time to give me mine. Hold on. Five of Swords is here. Why do I feel like... Miss Melanie passed away in 2012. Stay right here. Because I keep seeing something here. Miss Melanie passed away in 2012. I'm way off. I don't know. I thought I had some sort of idea where this was going. I guess I can just speak it out. Like, I mean, it's just a reading. It could be true. It could be incorrect. But it feels like like hidden hidden song credits. You know what I mean? It's like um I don't feel like hidden song credits. Because Judgment just popped out. A Page of Wands is here. KRS-One and... KRS-One and Hove is... You know, KRS-One comes out of nowhere saying, like, Hove is being controlled by the fucking Illuminati shit like that. It's like Miss Melanie is here. As I'm, as I'm looking at this video talking about Hove, it's like... But I'm hearing, like, it's just so crazy because no matter how much you try to escape it, it's like the truth always try always like takes a little peek out and scares the shit out of them sometimes. The shit with Nas occurs, the shit with Kim occurs, the shit with Dame occurs. It's like people is always talking about, you know, even me doing a reading, allegedly speaking in regard to Young Dolph and Jay-Z. Cause I still have Dolph going to this meeting with Jay-Z and it's like you trying to partake partake in these gangsta games that you nigga you ain't been playing you like we don't recall you ever really playing gangsta games it's like it's like it's like we really know you type shit like that's what it feels like it's like i'm not going nowhere but it's like not really like you know it's so crazy The high priest is here. Why do it really feel like front end? We didn't front it that. I don't know what the, I feel like only these words will resonate with maybe the parties. Cause it really feel like we, we didn't front, we fronted that. Beyonce Diva came out in 2008. The word she say is she's a diva. No disrespect, but like, let's like, like, I'm, I'm not even sitting here. Like, I'm really being real. I'm shuffling. Still the high priestess here. And I'm just saying like, make me feel like it's some sort of underlying tone to diva. I don't know why that out of everything I could think of, I thought of diva. And it's because Miss Melanie has an album called Diva. I just thought it was like, you know, a, it's a beautiful coincidence. But I'm really sitting here really thinking it's like, if I call somebody a diva, honestly speaking, if I call somebody a diva, let's be realistic. If I call somebody a diva right now, they call me a diva. Am I truly thinking that they're calling me a female hustler? <laughs> no, it's just fair. But it's like, if somebody called me a diva, somebody called you a diva, are you really thinking that they are saying that you are a female hustler? Ain't a, ain't a diva like um like kind of upscale like um kind of not even over exaggerated just simply exaggerated um maybe even being a, a tad bit dramatic and beauty and uh mannerisms isn't that kind of like a diva like when you think of diva you think of uh aretha franklin maybe right uh Patty LaBelle type shit, right? That's what they say. Mary J. Blige, you think of maybe a diva. 
It's like, yeah, they hustle hard. Are you really thinking that a female hustler is diva? It's like, whereas I'm, I'm looking at Miss Melanie's diva album, where it's a series of tracks. And it's not a situation of we talking about violence. It's not a situation of we talking about drama. We're talking about, um, we don't even identify this to be a man's world. Like, we on, we in this bitch. You know what I mean? It's like, you know what I mean? It's like she talking like, she talking like that. Like, I'm a diva because I, I control the tempo. Like, I'm taking over. Like, my presence is loud. Like, you feel me? Like, you know, not, we not a big stepper. We a stomper. Like we coming in and it's not even a situation where we look at it like it's a competition on my own lane. It's if you want to compete with me, you're going to lose every time. It feels like big boost of confidence, speaking energy confidently on these tracks. It's in, the, and I don't know. Then I sit back and I look at Diva. A diva, a diva is a female version of a hustler. Sixteen, that in my stilettos, this way, and she rapping on this shit. And I don't know why this shit is aligning with me or resonating with me in regard to this Melanie. Now I'm like MC Light. What the fuck am I like? Why am I thinking of MC Light or whatever? And I won't be here for long. I say that all the time, but for real. I'm not, because it's not really nothing to say. It's just like, um, I seen her while I was talking about Jay-Z. Nonetheless, it is just looking like Jay-Z. It's like, you should have stayed in your lane, stuck. You know, we should have we should have came out this shit together. It's like, uh, when I cry, you cry, we cry together type of energy, for real. It really should have been that, like, but it's a situation where maybe you feel like you got too big for the group. And it's not even like getting too big for the group. It's getting big for the friends. Where it's like, you know, it feel like, you know, you got it. You don't, you don't need nobody telling you nothing. Why do it really feel like that? Like, And so now it's like even a little small advice or, or maybe you feel like you're being misguided. Because you feel like somebody really trying to sun you. So now it's like the tension starts to flare. And now it's like, nigga, you've been a son. Like, don't fucking forget. You've been a son. Like, it's so funny because it's like, you follow, it's like everywhere you go, this, these tensions are following you. So it's like, shit, the shit with Queens popped, with Queens popped off, shit with Harlem popped off. And it's like, you already had this tension. It's like, you was trying to, you called yourself trying to run this town, but you knew you couldn't run this town because we know who you is type shit. So it's like, you call, you, you step outside of your own territory, which is Brooklyn. And now it's like you are talking about taking over this and doing that. And everything is like some sort of small superior complex, but it's like, you know, you can brag, you can boast because it's like you've been working hard and that's really what it is. But it's like, yo, for real, for real, like, be honest. Niggas was working hard with you. Even though it's like they had their own successful careers and shit like that. But it's like, you're not a writer, you're a biter. So it's like they wasn't getting that much recognition on certain things. And it's like, it feels like, you know, not really trying to sniper. It's like, it feels like a uh, sniper, swiper, no swiping type shit. Like, for real, for real. It's like, bro, come on now. And then this card is coming up again. It's like... It's like been the big kahuna of the group. Like I was like your big sister type shit. It's what it feels like. And even if she is younger than Jay-Z, it's still like a big sister type of energy type shit. Like, you know what I mean? That's what it really feels like. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. But let me see about MC Light. Like, why exactly am I showing MC Light? It's like we all used to run in the same pack. All used to be together like... This is like really my girl, like, you know what I mean? Like really my girl. But it's like, you know, it's like this shit was really a grind. Like, you know, we wasn't doing this shit for nothing, for real, for real. So it's like, we wasn't doing it for the money. We was doing it for the respect. We was doing it for, to really let it be known. Like, you know, we really are nice and shit like that. And like, you know, it, it did always look at it like, you know, a loyalty thing or not even loyalty, but always together with MC Light and Miss Melanie, even KRS One. But it's like I just speaking like let's be real. KRS one is nice as hell, but it's like 
it's like the the image images is playing a vital role here i think we're in that era where you know what i mean it's like images is playing a, but it's like is images really playing a role because look at jay-z jay-z got big ass lips but it's not really feeling that it just feeling like images is sort of playing like some sort of role like i don't know why maybe because we got somebody that's like i mean when it comes to miss melanie we maybe got the whole it do feel like the weight thing because when she put the video hold there in the videos and um in the whole in the video it was like what it feels like she decided to check out the shit because it's just like it's just a respect thing it's just like a or you know on general purpose type shit like so it don't really feel like um being forced out the game I just feel like y'all not going to give me my respect like you know what i mean it's just feel like if i want to do it again i'll do it again but it and, and i don't know i do feel like a, a back and forth thing that she tended to do like you know what i mean not not, not necessarily not being consistent but that's the thing about it is though you know how it's so funny how Lotto got her songs leaked. It's not funny. But Lotto songs get leaked and talk about writers and shit like that. Like, you know how... It's probably writers that is sitting behind a desk, as DJ academics will say, in these fucking sweatshops. And they don't give a fuck. They don't care. They eating. Because at the end of the day, it's like y'all y'all want a certain type of image. It don't got nothing to do with light skin their skin, you know, not always like that, but it's a, it's a certain type of image. So it's like, if you gonna write the bars, it's like this one right here, refuse to, you feel me? Refuse to alter her, her breasts, little things. This one right here, refuse to put on a wig. You feel me? She refused to, she want to wear her fro. It's like little, it's like little shit like that. You feel me? It's like just wanting to be your authentic self type shit. It's like, you know what I mean? Niggas is, niggas don't stay, stand firm in their belief. Like, if I said I'm nice, ain't nobody taking that from me type shit. So, we got the lovers here. The lovers card is just looking so, like, because it made me think of KRS-1 and Miss Melanie and their intimate relationship with Jay-Z. This individual crossing their arms right here. It's like now Jay Z starting to talk like boss man. Like now you now you kind of not talking down, but you kind of looking down when you talking. So it's like you recognize that it is a situation where it's a big bank take little bank type of situation. Niggas started to feel like Jay Z was shaky, and they decided like you know a lot of shit just be off principle. Like it's like no one gives a fuck to blow up in this industry, and it's just like look at the shit that y'all doing now. Like, it, it, I don't know. It feels like y'all are bugged out crazy. The devil just popped out. It's like y'all are bugged out crazy with the shit now. It's like, I'm like, you feel me? The money not even worth it type shit. Like, Queen of Swords is here. So it's like, the money not even worth it. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, one thing about it, I'm going to go out with my respect type shit. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like you... You trying to be down with these little you trying to be cool with the drill rappers. You hopping on a track with you on a track with Jay-Z, kill shit. And it deal shit. What Jay with this song with Jay-Z and Drake last little joint. It's like, why you even talking like that, nigga? When you're a hip hop artist, nigga. Like when you walked in and shit, you was talking like for the people. Now it's like I understand that music evolved or whatever, but it's like you don't you, um, you're a trendy rapper, too. You're a trendy rapper, too. The death card is here. Honestly speaking, it don't feel like, you know, Vaughn, <laughs> King of Swords. It really don't feel like Vaughn gave a fuck about you. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, let's keep it a bizzle. So what I was trying to say, like, at the end of the day, who else wanted Vaughn gone? Who in the higher ups when it Vaughn gone for real, for real? It's like, it's not even saying like it could have been Jay-Z, but it's like nobody. I could, I, I wish I could probably find somewhere where Vaughn is pretty much not giving Jay-Z and Beyonce this like big spotlight how everybody does. It's like, who gives a fuck about these niggas? Like, and it, I, I just feel like, um, no, there, this message has not been, but it has been said in confidence. Most likely Hierophant is here. 
it's like Jay Z morally is off. Niggas know Jay Z morally is is off. King of Pentacles. All he care about is money. And then you think about that. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Thank you. And I don't know how I got to this point. It's like I might as well just hit it since I'm on here, right? But um, yes. Yeah, so I was on. I was up late. Damn, I forgot. And, okay, so talking about Jay Z. It's like, okay, so Jay-Z is not valid. Okay, you know what I mean? Jay-Z not valid. And mind you, I know that Vaughn is pretty much learning these people. Now, I also have seen like this little small imagery. Like, of just like a small imagery. And it felt like... It felt like a, a gathering of people, like a reunion or whatever. Like, people were on their feet. And people were on their feet or whatever. And it's like, if you look in a crowd, I don't recognize mostly nobody in this crowd. But it feels like a gathering of all types of African-American people, mixed in or whatever the case may be. The thing about it is, if I had to say anything, it's like bloodline ancestors mixed with community ancestors. And the reason why this was so important, because it's just a situation of, like, obviously every sort of community ancestor that passed away, like, I'm just saying random names, uh, Biggie, Tupac, you know... Vaughn, it's like they clearly have their own bloodline ancestors. So it's like you see, you see in like regular or different faces that you don't even recognize. And then in the crowd, randomly, you will just like see like the, but I didn't see it like a bunch of people. It's like I always see Curtis Mayfield. Like I always see Curtis Mayfield no matter what. Like him and Diane Carroll, like all the time. So I just happened to see in the crowd, I just happened to see. Curtis may feel and what it made me feel like it made me feel like it's just it's not I feel like people get to know each other <laughs> this is this is where this is me journaling my uh my you know my different experiences real quick it's like I feel like people get to know each other through it's very easily you can easily meet a community ancestor through your bloodline ancestor. I don't know. You know, it's like it's levels to the shit. It's like. How can I say this? Like, for example. Yes, but I don't know how that's even possible. Everything, you know, I just, I'm going to, I'll learn it a little further. It's like I'll be trying to confirm and clarify what's being said. But, like, just try to follow me. It's like, you're, it's like, if, do I really want to touch on this? Because it's, like, not even relevant to what I'm saying. Anywho, so we got Def Jam or whatever. I, all I kept hearing last night was, I tell you, da, 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 da. This ain't what you want. And I instantly knew that that's a little Dirk song when he had a haircut. Now, I seen this. Hold on. The maintenance. I'm like, what? Anyway. Oh, shit. Where did this come from? Is this mine? Yeah, I think it's mine. Hold on. I lost that joint. That's my favorite one. So I'm listening to I'm listening to um, this ain't what you want or whatever the case may be. And I see faces that I recognize in this song, this ain't what you want, which I think it came out in 08, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm seeing or whatever like faces that I recognize. I think the dude, I think it's Zoo, Bay Zoo. I think it was Bay Zoo in this video. I think it was Bezu in this video. I think that's his name. So I see Bezu and I see um Mubu Crump. Okay. Very, very confused to what is occurring 
with this whole situation. I'm confused. Because he's playing this song in my head. And it's just telling me, like, Dirk has been a fucking, allegedly, a tattletale in some sort of capacity for quite some time. Okay? So he comes out with this song, This Ain't What You Want. Now, mind you, you know how, like, people be like, you know how people be saying, like, how Drake is a fed and shit like that? I'm not going to lie, bro. Shit is feeling kind of weird with Jay-Z. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Shit feeling kind of weird with Jay-Z. I got Dirk signed to Def Jam, right? I got Dirk signed to Def, Def Jam. And I got this song, This Ain't What You Want, which he was under Def Jam. He in Chicago, he going through the hood. In the beginning of the video, you see a nigga slap each other up. And, and I don't know who the nigga in the beginning of the video is. But for some reason, I just heard OD. So I don't know if that's OD in the beginning of the video or what of Dirk's video. So I got Mubu crumping and shit that's really sticking out to me. And then I got Bay Zoo. You got Dirk looking kind of nervous. Not really, but just look. That's how he always looked, basically, I guess, right? I don't know why I was on this video, but I'm just listening. This ain't what you want. But it leads me to the fact that I remember that this dude was making a video saying, do that nigga something, something just like Nooski. Like he'd do something, something. I'd never be like Nooski, like something like talking about, and he was in front of the place where Nooski got shot at. Now, Nooski is Dirt's cousin. It's just so crazy how Melly was giving, Melly and Vaughn was giving each other like some sort of big up. And it's like, it's like, what's the big fucking deal? What is the big deal when Like, Mubu Crump. Why would Mubu Crump feel so comfortable? Right? Like, it's this situation where now they got a beef. Right? It's like, now they got a beef. But why do it feel like it's a fake beef? Why do it feel like Dirk and, and Mubu Crump beef was... Kind of fake. And the only reason why I'm saying that. Because it's like. You friends with dirt. You this new ski. I don't know how y'all started beefing. I don't know why you this new ski. But why do it feel like you? it's okay for you to diss Nooski? There goes Seven of Swords right there. So it's like, it's some sort of fucking trickery here. A Page of Pentacles is here. It's like, why do it feel like you are, dirt is basically, it's like, listen, remember when we had the war in Chirac and DJ Academics was um, reporting on the war in Chirac heavily? And it's like, that was so popular. It was like Chicago was the place to be. Why do it feel like fake beefing? Creating fake beefs in the group. It's like, you giving niggas a shoulder to lead on. Here go High Priestess. You giving niggas a shoulder to lead on. You telling them that they can diss your cousin. Just like Vaughn had permission to diss Mr. You feel me? Why does it feel like this? I could be, I could be. The death card. Why do it feel like that? King of Pentacles. Why do it feel like you want to be able to say you lost your niggas in the trenches? That y'all, that it, it's real, like you from, it's like you is playing these rap niggas. 
That's what it feels like. It feels like you're in a bind because you are a mastermind behind really playing these hood niggas. It feels like, because this took me back to Avroy. I was asking in one of the videos, I said, I wonder why he didn't tell me or give a, a heads up in regard to Avroy getting killed. And it was like, I remember saying, I remember saying, because niggas wanted to be a superstar. And he get killed on camera or something like that. He fighting on camera. It's like, but before I even thought about him saying that, I was seeing this situation with a Roy brother from OTF beefing with Muna from O Block. And I didn't even know that they was from wherever it was from. I just seen that it was some O Block shit. And it's like, well, why you not the Willis here? Why you not telling why you not saying nothing about the, the A Roy shit? And it's like that's dirt man. It's like, these is dirt men. It's like, I'm telling you, like, these niggas want to be a superstar. These are dirt men. So at the end of the day, Dirk is the one who's supposed to give them a heads up. Why is it like Dirk is the one that's supposed to give them a heads up? It's like, because Dirk is the one that cook this cooking all these beefs, essentially. But it's just to keep these niggas in the news. To keep these niggas image to be like dangerous. And I was asking like, cause it was like, why do it feel like you would have diffused the situation? It's like niggas gonna do whatever they wanna do. Like, you know what I mean? Some niggas you can't talk to. Like niggas gonna do whatever they wanna do. Just understand and know that I'm riding for mine. At that point, I didn't even know who mine was. I didn't know if he was on um, on the the brother, Aroy brother side or uh, Muna side. And I learned, like, I seen Muna face and I was like, I said to myself, I didn't say it aloud, I said to myself, like, he want to be Vaughn so bad. And he was like, he don't want to be me. Like, that's my, that's really my twin. I'm like... It's really his twin. It's like, no, not twin like, you know, we do everything together type twin. It's like, maybe physically. I mean, I don't think they really look alike, but I guess they still have the same body structure, essentially. But yeah. So, it's just so crazy because I was talking about Rakim, sacrifice has gone wrong. It's like, who putting y'all on? Why do it feel like when y'all niggas link up with Jay-Z, shit just get bad for business? Shit is starting to become, it's like now, why do it feel like y'all with Jay-Z and y'all intertwined with in a cult? For real. Judgment is here. A Knight of Wands is here. Why do it feel like y'all, the strength is in reverse here? Why do it feel like you couldn't control her? Eight of Swords is here. But why Hangman is here? I don't know who I'm thinking of that felt like you did control. I'm talking about now the only person that I can literally think of is AZ. 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 Hold on. It's like pulling a Z. You know how somebody's trying to clear their conscience because it's like you don't want the riffraff to come out. The sun is in reverse. You don't want you don't want niggas to know. All I just thought about is who is that? Who fucking passed away? Um, whoa. Na 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 na. Say like whoa, like Black Rob, like how judgment. You don't want the judgment here. Like you don't want them to look at it like how niggas did Black Rob. So it's like you pulling a Z out now az coming back out now because you don't want the truth to be exposed how the truth is it like you know y'all need the truth to be exposed how the truth is it like you know y'all niggas is not this is not we're not talking about no you feel me? we're not talking about no you feel me we're talking about y'all y'all not being down with the niggas that y'all you feel me 
Y'all not being down the, the star in reverse too. Like these niggas should be up. These niggas, like you is trying to, uh, you feel me? These niggas is, is should not be the Fugees. You niggas is trying to three stooge them. That's what Quavo said. Y'all not going to do the hell. He said he they are not the Fugees. You not going to try to three scrooge them. For real, for real. And I feel that though. Like this shit is very much so real. But it's like Jay-Z don't want this type of chitter chatter to come out in no capacity. But that's what it feels like is happening now. The emperor is here. The four of cups is here. The magician is here. This petty cash that you are stemming out, whatever the case may be, it isn't going to stop the fact that we got some shit to talk about here. First of all, it's no way that AZ should be depending on you in any sort of capacity. In fact, he can't even uh, depend on you. It's a situation of save your fucking money. It's a situation of something like that. It's not even like a, it's, it's a struggle for money, actually. Two of Wands is here. Right now, it's just like a situation of, it feels like Jay-Z and some other party. The moon is here and the nine of pentacles is in reverse as well. Justice is in reverse. It's like, it, you know, AZ is just like looking at it like it's a fucking loss type shit. But it's like, what the fuck did Miss Melanie say? Because it's like, Miss Melanie is out the loop, but Miss, Miss Melanie is still in the loop because she's still hood. You feel me? She's still hood. She's still, she's still like real. She's still thorough. But it feels like, you know, it's like they don't even, they know her as Miss Melanie. They know she's Miss Melanie, but it's like, she's considered an OG now. Like, you feel me? Within the walls of Brooklyn, she probably considered an OG or whatever the case may be. She still probably get mad respect, but it's like outside of that, no one's really checking. But it's like, ooh, 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 that's what you think. That's what you think. Like, I'm still getting a situation of people being inspired by Miss Melanie for some reason. The eight of coins is in reverse, but it's like y'all not, it's like y'all y'all in a place, y'all in a state of winning. So y'all not giving like the proper, it's like give her hers. Like, it's like, it's not even a situation of like, say who, say who possibly helping you write your lines or anything like that, or who giving you pep talks or who is trying to, you know, tailor your, your, your presentation on the mic or your confidence in the mic and, and how you, how you write certain uh, flows or something like that. Cause she is definitely kicking that shit. Queen of Swords is here. She's definitely kicking that shit to somebody. And it's like, y'all probably not, it's like y'all need to be recognizing or acknowledging that miss melanie is still here alive and well shit like that it's like y'all get what y'all gotta get and y'all y'all go type shit it's like you know it's remind me, it's remind me of monique and and uh mr lee or whatever it's like it's like bro it's like i'm not about to go back and forth with you we was hella cool and it's like it's like i getting your ass about something but it's like for real king of wands is here Hovey never sat back and gave Miss Melanie some sort of big up or whatever. It's just like, you know what I mean? And this is the reason why the moon is here. It's like, this is the reason why maybe KRS won't always like been on, not really been on his ass, but it's like, I don't judge you, but you know, I don't fuck with you. And you know, if people want to know why I don't fuck with you and why I'm just so loud, it's like, well, you're Jay-Z and I'm looking at it like, okay. Who gives a fuck about you being Jay-Z? It's like, we know Sean. You know what I mean? It's like not even no hate and shit. It's like Nets question type shit. Like, you know what I mean? We ain't, you're not even about to make this my motherfucking 11-11 on the screen. You're not even about to make this my motherfucking, uh, the topic of discussion and my shit. Like, it's like totally taking over. It's like, you know, you know what's up. You know what's going on. You know we was all signed together, boogie down records. I, 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 you feel me? You know, I, I got I got Jay-Z being part of this little clique too. It's like, I'm talking before Foxy come in. It's like you getting these female rappers and making them hot. But you're not a writer. You're a biter. That's why it's like, it's just the principle of shit. It's like we didn't talk about shit like this. It's like diva is not five of pentacles is here it's like this feels like 
ins inspiration. And it's not even a situation of, well, what do you want? You want credit, like writer credit? Like you, you didn't write the rhyme. It's like not even that. It's like, this is like a fucking fake little memoir. Like at the end of the day, nigga, my album name is Diva. And she is basically giving me a personal big up. She's singing my life. And made this shit a song. She took my album title and took my whole style, my life, the way I am talking. Certain she didn't took that and maybe possibly put that on the track. And it was one of her hottest hits. But we didn't talk about this. I'm so much of damn near like a nobody now. You feel me? It's like, I'm so much of like, considered like a nobody now. I can't even get an interview to even express this. So it's like, what have Jaguar Wright said about Jay-Z and Beyonce? Jay Beyonce, I don't like, she don't know what the fuck going on. And is very much so engaged in the fact that this nigga here is, it's like, you a writer. I mean, you a rapper now. It's like, you're not even a rapper. It's a little bit of hip hop though. It's like... like nah nah for real that's what i'm really seeing it's like nah but even with the page of pentacles in reverse it's like nah it's like even when i gave this theory it told me i was crazy even when i said this they told me i was bugging out like i'm sitting here watching like you, you really think like that's not what a diva is put it in the fucking put it in in your search bar that's not what a diva is Modern day life walking around. She a diva. She looked like a diva. But what you rapping about? Yeah, you a female hustler. But you talking like you a rapper. You talking like you like you talking like you in a different genre. But you know you are. You singing, but it's like a hip hop record. But it's still like R and B. It's hip hop and R and B. Like, I don't know what the, I don't know what this is, but it feels, you know what I mean? When she was telling me, I was like, yeah. I was like, I don't know, man. I see Diva. It's like, what are you trying to say? You wrote, you, you wrote, you part of this? You wrote this? She's like, nah. I'm just saying, like, really pay attention to what she's talking about. Like, even when she, it's like, fuck the chorus. Like, really listen to what she's talking about. She didn't write that rhyme. It said her and Sharonda wrote it. But she didn't write this rhyme. You feel me? The lover's card is here again. It's like this is why KRS one has always been on your ass. It's like it's like he's a very good friend. Because at the end of the day, right is right and wrong is wrong. It's like the same, it's like you. It's like no fucking way. MC Light, Miss Melanie, KRS one, Jay-Z got pictures together, same label together. How is it that you barely know who this woman is? You know Salt and Pepper's fucking DJ more than you know her. How is that if she has pictures with them? How don't you know anything about it? Because you're trying to fucking Lizzo her. Big ups to Lizzo. For real. Big ups to Lizzo, I guess. Because it's like she's mad confident and she is, she don't give a fuck about how anybody feel about her. And that's the way it's supposed to be. She should still get the love and recognition because at the end of the day, she's a dope artist. No matter how you, what type of phobia you have developed on yourself. Like that is a personal trigger that you need to address. There go the devil here and the queen of cups. Who gives a fuck if you don't love? No one said that. No one, she was never looking for love. She was just demanding her respect. You know she nice, admit she nice. That's it. That's it. No one wants to fucking do that. You rather give, it's like me and light. It's like not to, it's not, not to dim her light at all. It's like, that's why no one needs to bring it, bring it up at all. Because MC light, no. It's like she had a better opportunity perhaps to be an advocate. But it's like, it's this ladder 
and you are on this ladder for a long time and it's like you don't want to stop climbing for nobody and i feel you but when we came in this motherfucker together we've been climbing together it's not a situation where what i eat make you shit no it's not that at all it's just like i couldn't it's like it was it's like knowing it's a small competition five of cups is here the emperor is here the only person that gets the love and recognition. And that's why KRS1 will have many, many years to live. Because it feels like Miss Melanie, justice is in reverse. Miss Melanie suffered, you know, a heartbreak. I mean, it do. Not because of KRS1. Not because, it's just because it's so many people that she was around. Even KRS1. It was so many people that she was around during this era. That know that she's nice. That she has maybe assisted even in their craft. It's like. Am I basically. Did I basically not get or reach the peak. Like did I fumble my own bag. Because I didn't. Because I was. I expressed too much. Displayed too much. That I was just. I was too confident with me. Because like I refused to change. It's like, at this time, we're not really talking about sacrifices and shit like that. Like, you know, even though we know it exists, but it's like, what? It's just about being authentic. It's like, I swear. It's like, I'm married with a child. Married with a child. So it's like, who is you to tell me that I'm not perhaps feminine or... You feel me? Here I go with this album called Diva. And it's like, it's not even a situation of set sail. But you feel like I could do a little bit better though. It's like, well, Queen Latifah come out and she fucking around and she wearing the same shit. It's like, we hip hop artists. Like, no disrespect. Queen Latifah not, you know. You know. You know. It's like... They don't want to talk about the weight, but it's the weight. They don't want to talk about it. It's like, yeah, I know it's the weight too. Huh? I know it's the weight. That's why it's fuck y'all. I'm still in this bitch. I know it's the weight and I ain't doing a goddamn thing about it. Cause that ain't your motherfucking business. It shouldn't hinder nothing. Just man, look, look your favorite rapper in the face right now and tell him that you ain't got the juice like that. It's like they don't want to do that. It's like they don't want to admit that she nicer than MC Light. They don't want to admit that she she rolled with KRS-One. And KRS-One has this crazy attraction to the woman that she is. The confidence, like, that's what sets you to him. Like, that's what's queen. You feel me? It's like we got, we got the oranges and the apples in this bitch. It's like this is what is... You know what I mean? But it's also a situation where do I feel like KRS-One could have... Him and Jay-Z situation became like a personal little power struggle thing. It's like, do I feel like KRS-One could have, um, you know, held it down a little bit further? I do. I do. But it's like, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, what are you going to do? Fight the town? Fight the, what are you going to do? At some point in time, he gave up on Miss Melody. You know what I mean? He gave up on Miss Melody. And uh, that's okay. A lot of different conversations she just should have never probably engaged in or you know, something like that. It's like maybe keeping things to herself. Because it's like the first cut is the deepest. So it's like maybe she's reopening the same wounds over and over and over again. It's like while you're seeing... It's like me and Karis when I've, I've um, basically... We're, we severed the tie and now we are here where he's still is selling and selling and selling. It's like... But we also looking at Jay-Z who's at the very top. Who you know I'm in Brooklyn. It's like, man, he wouldn't even... He wouldn't even... Man... They will name motherfuckers 
not even from name rappers from it's like the fact that you it's like what we beefing nigga it's like what are like are we beefing and i don't know that it's a beef here queen of swords <laughs> i like her i know you like her too i like her i like her von lights her it's like you know it's like fuck them who is it? You know, you know what she gives me? You know what she gives me a little bit? Like, what? who can I? Who is the person? It's like, she got a fuck you attitude like Remy. She got a fuck you attitude like Remy. And it's not even a situation of Remy... Remy is hot. Remy and Nikki. So we got Remy and Nikki here. See, Nikki already peeped what the situation was. But Remy was naturally having this sort of defense mechanism, like this guard up. It's like she not feeling Nikki attitude and shit like that, but in true reality... It's not even that she's not feeling a Nikki attitude. She can feel this type of bias, discriminatory type of energy just surrounding the whole game. And I think she made it feel like or felt as if it was just kind of derived from Nikki by itself. I don't know what she thought. But in true reality, like, this the game. It ain't got shit to do with you being brown and her being light skin is really the fact that it's like this is a predominantly male industry so they really look at it like we love us against the bitch we love us against the bitch but we want you to remember that you a lady it's like it's the challenge for them See, it's cute to put on the wigs and the makeup and shit like that. But what about somebody that is just naturally basking in not even their femininity, but in like, you know, like they're just naturally seductive or something. It's like that's Nikki body. You know what I mean? It's like she a little sexy sex kitten type shit. And really may not even be like that. But it's just a situation of preference. It's not to say that she don't look good. Look at Amaretta. Amaretta is fucking beautiful. But Amaretta, you know, sometimes she just don't. It's not even about putting on, having a big butt or nothing like that. It's just about. Because the thing about it is, though, it's like your gangster bars is set to as hell when you sitting back looking like a fucking snack. It just, yo, they, they hit different. Then a bitch that's sitting there going like, you know what I mean? It's like once in a blue moon, that's hot. You know what I mean? But all the time, they they not going to jack it. It's like, but what about Glorilla? Glorilla is talking and rapping like a little nigga and still coming in with big ass shades and fucking big ass hats on, like looking like a classy debutante. So it's like it all, you got to find a balance. Duality is damn near everything, you know? But whatever. I've been on here for quite some time. It's time for me to go. It's like, but what is the problem? What what do we have here with MC Light? Like, I'm not understanding. It's a switch up shit. It's a switch up shit. Because how is it? How did you get? How is it that? You got MC Light here. But why do I want to think about salt and pepper? So is salt and pepper like your protege? The tower is here. Is salt and pepper like the protege? See, the queen of, of cups is in reverse. It's like... You could have shown way more love. It's like you could have shown way more love. Hold on.
Hold on. One card, and we'll and we'll go. I'll take it there. One card, the devil. I gotta say that. I gotta perhaps say that. Five of Cups is here. I gotta say that. Temperance is here. King of Swords is here. The Death card is here. You know what I'm really gonna say? Also, I don't mean to be messy, but I wonder how uh, MC Light and KRS One relationship was. Here go a devil here. I wonder how their relationship was. 12, 12. I wonder how their relationship was. I just seen the queen of wands out. I know y'all used to all be together type shit. I got another tower here. I got a, a four of cups and a nine of pinnacles is here. Nothing major. I feel like you made it a competition. I feel like MC Light made it a competition. You know, somebody is just, it's like their gestures. Your gestures feel kind of sneaky. Gestures that you would show during the friend group felt kind of sneaky. I don't know. It's like you never had your own man. Why do it feel like all three of us is together type shit? Like all three of us is together. And it's like you never got your own man. It's like it's like everything you doing, in a sense, is impressing her man. It's like to the point where he working on both of y'all career. But it's a little bit more easier, it feels like to sell MC Light career or help her with her little push. You know, I don't know, something like that. It's like, well, I didn't do nothing with her career, but you did. Seven of Cups is here in reverse. It's like things that she never spoke on. Six of Cups, because it's like, it's not like y'all actually did anything. It's just the fellowship behind it all. So it's like, she's using some sort of, it's like MC Light is, I don't know, could be maybe being a little flirty. You know, it's like little shit, like, you know, the first example that I can say, it's like somebody like, you know, we all sitting in the same house together. It's like, um, it's like, oh, wait a minute. I'll get it out the refrigerator for you. No, it's no problem. It's like just to be able to, you know, pass him something or it's like, it's like, I don't know what that is. You know how bitches is. Bitches is sneaky. You know how bitches is sneaky. Bitches is just like, you know, kind of sneaky or whatever the case may be. So it's like. All right, so Miss Melanie have a baby, right? And it's like, well, MC Light and Miss Melanie and KRS One, they all signed to the same label. They like, they're like family type shit. It's like she is basically damn near like Miss Melanie best friend type shit. It feels like it's like helping her at the time of not when she was pregnant, but after she had a baby. And it's like you know, it's like yeah, you're assisting her. You're assisting Miss Melanie or whatever the case may be. Like, you're being there for there for her. But you also are, like, in this moment, it's something about... It's like KRS-One is coming off, like, rather attractive in this moment. Being a dad, being a strong a strong man, king of swords, taking over, taking over the situation, being a provider. It's like being, you know... It's like I'm not saying nothing, but I'm fake attracted to this motherfucker. Dad... You know, your baby daddy looking good type shit. And it's like you didn't take the opportunity at that time. Like you're not, you know, you're not being deceitful or betrayal. But it's like you around. You around. Three cups. You kicking it. So it's like, it's like you're like this new newfound beauty around. Because it's like the type of energy that's uh, being eluded. It's like you're not even really paying attention to the fact that, you know, the baby is here. It's like you just really coming over to be a helping hand or whatever the case may be. But really it's like you want to be fucking seen type shit. You want to be seen. The tower is in reverse. It's like, it's like in a way, you kind of knew that I was feeling some type of way. So it's like, damn, seven of swords, seven of wands is in reverse. Are you Mr. Chaos One? If I'm sitting back pressing you, thinking that you maybe like MC Light, cause you know she always around in this friend group. It's like Am I pressing you and, you know what I mean? And you on the low, like, you're not running back and telling, but it kind of come out like, nah, I got to chill or we got to, you know what I mean? Like, nah, I'm about to get back. Like, this is, you know, she think that 
we got something going on and I don't want it to be like that. I don't need none of that. Like, I, it's like, why would you even go back and say something to the bitch if that's, if that's not what's going on? It feels like you just, you putting her in and check or something. It's like, you think I'm, you think I'm stupid. These type of, these, this is just like a separate occasion. The death card is here with the lover's card. This is just like a separate ordeal like you feel me that has nothing this this industry shit don't have nothing to do with you know them dissolving their personal marriage or whatever the case may be it's really a situation it could be insecurities the devil in reverse yeah not having no proof of cheating but always some sort of accusation but it's like you know a woman's intuition ain't incorrect we got the five of wands here so it's something like all when we work together as often as we work together, there's something being displayed that is making me want to put my guard up. You feel me? I'm, I'm getting triggered in this moment. It's like, you're doing something in this moment, sir. Ace of Cups is here. It's like little small gestures. I can clearly see that MC Light has hard eyes for you or something of that nature. She's like, um, she's like definitely having hard eyes or something like that for you in that sort of nature seven of swords is here i mean you were i don't necessarily it's like you were being sneaky too it's like you were being sneaky too it's like but who knows only god knows if y'all had some sort of personal type of um relation not even relationship but like little small entanglement on the low like you feel me the devil is here in the reverse uh the king of swords is here it feels like no, it feels like, no, that actually didn't occur. You know what I mean? But it feels like, why do it feel like Justice card is here? It's like Six of Cups is here. It's like this kind of does play some sort of vital role. I got two, two, I got this 10 right here is giving me some sort of like, we reach some sort of breaking point. Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, it's like a situation of not only do I got my friend, but I also feel like, you know, it's, it's something about me looking super insecure. It's like I really was bugging over this. And in some sort of way, he had a tail. Eight of Cups is here in reverse. It's like MC Light fall back from her. So it's like all these sort of different regrets. Like, did I hinder my... Did I hinder everything? King of Wands is here. It's like, did I hinder this relationship with KRS-One due to insecurities? Due to um, this... this uh, what seems to be... What is that that word that I'm looking for? It's like just being extremely bitter because shit not working out in your favor in regard to, you know what I mean? It's like every other day, I don't know, put him in a position where he wants to totally separate himself essentially. Four of Cups is here. Yeah, it's like could have it could have been like small it's like you went from supporting me and then it's like maybe you feel like i'm not doing enough for you speaking of like you know krs1 it's like uh miss melanie goes from supporting him to like uh not knowing i don't know like feeling like he's not supporting her or something like that you know that shit with with mc light is so fucking old you know what I mean? All that shit is very much so old. But it's like... I don't know. It feels like this was her energy. Like, Ten of Pentacles is here. It's like, you know, you got you got your fam... It's like, I don't know. It, it essentially it feels like she pushed people away. She did push people away, essentially. It's like... Not even like a bad attitude, poor attitude and shit like that. It's like I'm also getting like postpartum depression and shit like that. Postpartum depression and really um, like fight, thinking she's combating it successfully in true reality. It's like just making everybody miserable around her because they are essentially some sort of problem. Even though like they're trying their best to work with her. Six of Pentacles is here. So yeah, I see that they're trying their best to work with her and shit like that. But it's just like, you know. I just feel like three of pentacles is here. I feel like um, it's bad. Queen of cups is here. I just feel like she's having a, you know, the cherry is here. Very sweet, but have these light and dark energies around her. So I just feel like 
personally could be fighting some sort of depression and shit like that. I, I mean, you know what I want to do? I want to sit back and say, you know, love, light, and peace to Miss Melanie. I wish her nothing but love and healing. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, it's like... I'm going to take the moment to give Miss Melanie her roses because she is a dope artist. She was up there um, with your favorite rapper's favorite fucking rapper. And at the end of the day, her and KRS-One had a love thing going on. It was very successful. She used to be the best friend or something of that nature with MC Light. And at the end of the day, like when you see Lizzo, you should maybe think of Miss Melanie. And the only reason I say Lizzo is because you can't break Lizzo down. Lizzo might cry online and shit, whatever, but Miss Melody would never. She would never cry online. It's fuck them. Queen of Cups is here. Like, so it's just like, let me just give, let's just take the moment right now to give Miss Melanie her roses, motherfucker. Because at the end of the day, it's like if you don't know who she is, goddamn, you need to know who the fuck she is now. <laughs> No, for real. That's how I really feel. The lover's card is here. You know what this the lover's card is so crazy? It's like, because I've really seen Vaughn, like, just sitting down, like, talking or whatever. And I'm like, who is this lady? But she looked slimmer. She looks way slimmer. And it's like, like, it's not a photo out of her being kind of slim. So I think this is before she had her child. And it's like, being depressed, five of cups, you know, feeling depressed, feeling lonely, having anxiety, the devil is here in reverse. It's like, yo, I don't mean to be like this, but I'm being like, you know, hormones. Shit is just wacky. I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm overwhelmed. You feel me? It's like I'm gaining weight every other day. And it's like, it's like, what the fuck you think I'm doing? Just stuffing my face like uh, shit like that. Like, you know, I'm sad. I'm tired, whatever the case may be. But I'm working with y'all niggas. I'm showing up. I'm prepared. I'm presenting. And I'm giving my all, even though I feel this way. It's like, give me mine. Niggas know what the fuck I had to go through and I never complained. It's like King of Cups is here. This is the only reason why KRS-One is getting... It's like even, even after this situation, he could have sat back and been like, you know what, Melanie, you're a fucking loser. I, I, like, I'm moving on. I, I, but it's just like even after the marriage or whatever the case may be, it's just like still making sure she good. You know what I mean? Still holding her down. Whatever the case may be, King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. King of Wands is here. Knight of Wands is here. It's like still having a lot of fun with Miss Melanie. So this is what I'm getting out of this. Still having a lot of fun with the King of Wands being in reverse. It's like at the end of the day, Kara's one is not doing music. So I see him not doing music where I see Miss Melanie is... She's dabbling in something. This is what I'm really honestly seeing here. She's dabbling in something. And you know what I'm getting out of this King of Cups and the Five of Swords is where... The King of Wands, the King of Wands is being clarified by the Five of Swords. And this Knight of Wands, where it shows this actual image, is being clarified by this King of Cups. And it literally makes me think of, like, on the low, paying homage. For real. It makes me think, like, on the low, paying homage. Like, yeah, I haven't been saying your name. I've been, like, just like Jay-Z is trying to sit back and, um... JC is sitting back and like um trying to get in good graces with the people that he came up with, like even down to Nas, uh Kim, fucking uh KRS one, shit like that. It's a situation where he did that with Miss Melody too. I think Miss Melody was doing so I think she was writing. I think she was really writing, and I think Hove was using her because this it's this King of Cups is not KRS one. Kara's one is a rapper. He's not engaging. He's not rapping. He's not doing none of that. He is speaking on. It's like he is taunting. This made me feel like Jay-Z, especially with that white image. The white image, especially because it's like for the love of money. Yeah, the and for the love of money. But it's like also it just made me think of when I think of that, I think of backstabbers, like backstabbing energy. It's like backstabbing energy. It's like going against. It's like your word is your bond. It's like nobody could, you know, it's like nobody is fucking oppy. It's like real is real. Niggas is not going to stop being real because we got a little situation going on with a fake nigga. With a nigga that's not real. 
So I'm not even going to sit back and expose the fact that I should be getting a, a, a songwriting credit. It's like you want me to be a ghostwriter. You don't want me. Nah, nigga. Let me be a songwriter. Because it's like, like, why you don't want to admit? This is why this message is coming up. Page of Swords. I feel like I need to go back and listen to KRS-One talk about Jay-Z. Because it feels like a slight exposure. It feels like a slight exposure without trying to make it without trying to make it a, like a run to the blogs thing. So it's like, we got this little situation that occurred and I'm a run to the blogs and now you're going to just hear me talking about melody and songwriting. It's like, no, it's like, I'm gonna mention Jay-Z and it's like, Jay, when I say what I say, Jay-Z going to feel exactly what I'm saying. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, you don't, it's like your word is your bond. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like, just be who you are. It's like, it's like, you know what I mean? I got a queen of swords here. It's like I just sit back and I be like, uh-huh. Like the truth always prevail type shit. It's like the truth always prevail. It's like this is why I stop dealing with motherfuckers overall. I stop talking with motherfuckers all overall. It's like I instantly just shut down. So it don't feel like a lack of, of love or nothing like that. Six of Cups is here. It don't feel like, um. it feels like you paid her. Like, let's, let's see. It feels like she could have been paid. Now, mind you, she died in 2012. Yeah, Five of Pentacles is here. It's like you paid her. Granted, not that, not that much. The devil is in reverse. Still displaying some sort of narcissism. So it's like you still don't want to give her the acknowledge that you know she really is seeking out this whole situation. And this is why it's like an on guard situation. I mean, this is, yeah, this is an on guard situation where she's like maybe reacting and you can hear about it locally or through the grapevine where it's like a local, but you know how it's local, but it's like inner circle type shit. So you didn't hear what she got to say about you type shit because she probably didn't vented this out to a couple of old players. So it's like, even though Melanie is, Miss Melanie is not, in the industry you don't know who she is she could still talk to az on the phone she could still talk to krs one on the phone she could still give foxy brown words of encouragement so it's like damn i give y'all bitches words of encouragement and y'all not even y'all don't even fucking you know y'all don't even acknowledge and it's like it's like you know what i'm not even gonna say nothing because they they, they that's just how kids is or whatever the case may be but it's just like don't complain about the shit just she's like no motherfucker I'm not no fucking urban legend. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Like, no, it's time to give me mine. Why do I am getting that bad? This King of Cups and this Knight of Cups and this Hangman. I really, truly think that Diva was assisted with a couple of... Diva is a reference of something. Diva is a reference. Diva could be, Diva's a reference. Not a reference track. Like, this shit is a reference. The devil is in reverse. It's like, poor Beyonce, she don't really know. She don't know what's going on, but it's like, niggas be working. It's like, niggas be, like, he love him some Beyonce, but she's not a mastermind. It's like, she's in, she's in a fucking relationship with somebody that's, and, then, and that's the thing about it, though. So, basically, Beyonce, that, why am I getting that? Like, it's making it seem like you sat down with some writers and y'all came up with this dope-ass song that's making fucking crazy hits. But in true reality, what it's truly given is, is that people was working... This is 2008. Sure the fuck is. And this motherfucker is sitting back. 
probably got chastised. I got to see about 2007 with KRS one and fucking um, Jay Z. If anything is talking, taking place in 2007, Queen of Swords is here because that is why he gave her some sort of proposition. And not only was it an apology, but it most likely devils in reverse. It's like trying to right some sort of wrongs because I don't know what that is. It's like you're not a writer, you're a buyer. So like, even though it's like, even though Fati is not from the 80s. It's like y'all know who these people are. It's like we happy that you prospering and in the but it feel I don't know. They feel like proud parents. They feel like proud parents. The lovers card is here. Remember I said this is KRS one and Miss Melanie with Jay Z. It's like proud parents and the will is in reverse. It's like if you really put me on, put yourself on, then I put on for my city. Ooh, there we go. There we go. You don't like that chitter chatter, huh? Somebody don't like that chitter chatter. You didn't know KRS one was gonna turn up, but you didn't know Miss Melanie, sweet Melanie. You didn't know she was gonna be talking like that. These niggas is just keeping it real. You ain't family no more, right? That's how you feel? You ain't family no more, but at least keep it a buck. It's like they didn't tailor your whole style, nigga. That's what you... It's like that's what you don't want to say. They didn't tailor your whole style, but it's like the truth either have been revealed or this is the truth. It's like you want to... You run, you 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 put on your city. Who gonna run this town tonight? Them young niggas. Them young niggas that you trying to sponsor on the low. They trying to take that fucking rock. They trying to take that rock. They tired of you sponsoring all the suckers. They gonna get to the bottom of this rat and shit. They gonna get to the bottom of this rap and shit. If they claim out here. That the Prince family can fucking make a murder go away. Then who the fuck is bringing the feds to indict niggas down there? How is these people even get, how is the feds, who is initiating the sweeps? They said, we need you to go. The star is here. They said they need you to go. And the reason why they're saying they need you to go is like, they don't want to make it a big deal. But you're not welcome here no more. You're not welcome here no more. King of Swords is here. You know, it's probably, it, you know, these goddamn country motherfuckers, you know they're not playing. You know they're not playing. It's like, nigga, you need Secret Service security. You need secret service security. I don't. But anyway. <sighs> Later, y'all.